Good morning! Welcome to our lesson for this day. For today's lesson, we will discuss about addition of fractions and mixed fractions. But, let's review first the LCM, the least common multiple, and GCF, the greatest common factors. Let's find the GCF of 4, 8, and 20. Let's multiply only the common prime factors, which is 2 times 2 equals 4. 4, 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8. And 2 times 2 equals 4 times 5 equals 20. Therefore, the GCF of 4, 8, and 20 is 4. Now, let's find the LCM or the least common multiple of 4, 8, and 20. Let's multiply all the prime factors. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. And 8 times 5 is 40. Therefore, the LCM or the least common multiple of 4, 8, and 20 is 40. Now, we can proceed to our lesson, which is changing the similar fraction to similar fractions in addition. Here the example. Let's find the sum of 1 fourth, 3 8, and 9 over 20. The first step, let's find the LCM or the less common multiple of the denominator of 4, 8, and 20. Let's note this or remember. LCM is equal to LCD or the least common denominator. Let's take a look for the LCM of 4, 8, and 20. Their LCM or the least common denominator is 40. For this step 2, divide the LCD which is 40 to the original denominator. Then multiply to numerator. Here the example. 40 is our LCD. 4 is the original denominator. So 4 divided by 4 equals 10. Then multiply it to the numerator. So 10 times 1 equals 10. So our new numerator is 10. Let's take a look for the simplify illustration. The least common denominator is 40. And the original denominator which is 4, 8, and 20 and uh, our new numerator is 10, 15, and 18. Therefore, 1 fourth become 10 over 40, and 3 over 8 become 15 over 40, and 9 over 20 becomes 18 over 40. Since our denominator of the given number are now similar, we can now proceed to addition process. So, 10 over 40 plus 15 over 40 plus 18 over 40 equals 34 over 40. Let's note this. Uh, let's copy first the denominator, then add the numerator. Let's remember this. If the denominator is the same or similar, no need to get the common factors or the LCD. You can proceed to addition process. Next, if the denominator are dissimilar or different to each given factors, take the four steps rules. Our lesson for this day is already done. Please look forward for our next lesson, which is the subtraction of fraction and mixed fraction. Don't forget to like and share this video and please subscribe. See ya! Bye-bye!